Hey there, Trisha with Upcycled Stuff. Today we're going to be making these really cute uh, staked butterflies that are made from soda cans and they're good for using indoors or out. If you look at the back, you see that it's a Fresca can. Now when I promised to do this tutorial for my Facebook fans, um, I figured I needed to change the way I do it because I actually use the Big Shot Sizex um, die cut machine to both cut and emboss my butterflies. So since it's a pretty expensive machine and the dies are expensive, I figured I'd come up with a way that you could use a couple of things around the house um, to do just a couple. Um, the die cut machine's great if you're doing a lot of them, but all right, let's get started. The list of things that you need is going to be a little bit long. So the first thing you're going to need is a pattern for your butterfly. Um, try to find something that's not too fancy because remember you're going to be cutting with scissors um, and in the end we're going to end up not um, even doing antenna on these ones. So, you'll need a pattern, some cardboard with which to cut your pattern from so that you can use that for tracing. You're also going to need something um, to put your pattern on the aluminum can. A lot of people will just write with a marker and then use alcohol or um, something to get it off. I don't like to mess with it. So I have this fancy schmancy, well, it's all beat up, but um, foam pad with this really great little pen that um, is used to emboss and engrave and all that good stuff. And this is what I use to mark lines on my aluminum can. Again, if you're only doing a few of these, you don't need all this. So I'm actually not going to use these today. If you have them, use them. But today we're going to use a paintbrush. I'll try to find one that doesn't have a sharp edge. A plastic brush is not a good idea, but a nice wooden one. And just a piece of felt. Okay. You will need uh, steel wire. I think this is 18 gauge. Um, you know, as long as you want it 18 inches, 24 inches, um, however um, tall you want it to stand in your plants. You'll need a bead of your choosing to coordinate with um, your soda can. Again, you'll need a soda can. A pair of smaller scissors are better if we're doing um, a lot of ins and outs on the butterflies just so you can make sharp corners without tearing your aluminum because it does tear pretty easily. You'll need a file. You'll need something to punch a hole with. I use, yep, isn't it hot? <laughs> a bunch of cardboard and a thumbtack and it works perfectly. And then um, just to cut your your steel wire you're going to need something a little bit stronger uh, to do the cutting. So let's get to it. The first thing you want to do is take your pattern and attach it to um, your your scrap cardboard. And you'll see this is what my pattern now looks like that I'm going to use on the aluminum. I've gotten rid of the antenna. And this little part down here, this little tip, I've gotten rid of. In the end, your wire is going to wrap around the bottom of your butterfly. This stake is. So um, having a thin metal there is not a good idea. So just try to flatten that part out. OK, so now that you have your pattern, you're going to go ahead and take your felt, then your soda can, flatten it out a bit, and you're going to put your butterfly wherever you want it on the can, and then pressing with relative strength, which I don't always have, but you're just going to trace around your cardboard. Having it on cardboard helps, the, helps to really guide your paintbrush because you're pushing kind of hard. And if you use just paper, it's never going to work. So you're going to get this completely outlined. And I don't know that you're going to be able to see this on video, but when I remove this pattern, trust me, there's a line that outlines where your butterfly is. It doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to cut it and you can make it perfect then. So now we have this outline. And you can see my aluminum has now flattened as well. You can get this stuff out of the way. And then you're just going to start cutting. So you're going to cut all the way around your butterfly. And we're going to make believe that I'm doing this. And look at how fast I am. Voila. Okay. So now you should have um, a butterfly that looks something like this. Now, it's again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Mine's certainly not. Um, I don't take a lot of time when I'm cutting. Um, plus your edges are going to be sharp. So you're going to need to file anyway. So you might as well file out the imperfections while you're filing out any sharpness. So be real careful. Again, the metal's really 
thin. And so you can really um, gouge your aluminum. So any kind of you know metal file. This one actually had a handle, like a big plastic handle that comes with it, with interchangeable bits. I actually have more control if I can hold it in my hand. So um, nothing too fancy or snazzy. So you're gonna go and you're gonna file all the way around. I find on these smooth edges, it's best to go back and forth. Because when you do this, you um, you have a tendency to make uh, sort of um, little divots in your aluminum, and you have more of um, a tendency to scratch the surface of your butterfly, and that will scratch the paint on the can. So wherever you can, take a side-to-side -side motion, and in places where you can't, like the head here, up and down very lightly, and try to keep your fingers as a guide so you don't ruin too much of the paint. Okay. All right, so we're gonna pretend that this one's done. Filed out the way we want it. All right, so we're gonna take our little, now we need to add our bead and our wire. So here's our steel wire. Now this stuff is, uh, if you sort of heat it up running your hand along it, it's easier to straighten it out and shape it the way you want it to be, rather than trying to bend it, because then it'll leave all kinds of kinks. So just be careful when you're doing that. Go ahead and cut a length of your wire, and then you're gonna poke a hole for it. So with the painted side facing up, you're gonna find a space somewhere near the top, but not too close to the top. And actually a really good idea is to take the bead that you're gonna use, let's use the green one, and sort of measure where you're gonna place it because the hole that you poke through, the uh, steel wire is gonna come up and go through the top of your bead and then it's gonna come out the end and around. So if you want your bead to be about there, you'll want your wire to come up right about here. So poke it all the way in and then just for good measure, give it a little twist just to open that hole up a little bit. Okay, then you're gonna take your wire and you're gonna stick it through that hole on the back side, just like this, okay? Stick your bead on. Push it through just a little more. And then this is kind of hard to explain, but you're gonna hold your wire in the back so that it stays at a 90 degree angle with the butterfly and you're gonna bend the front part down. It's probably going to want to pull a little bit of the wire through. That's okay. So you want to end up with some with sort of these two parallel looking steel wire pieces. Okay, so then just give it a good squeeze from the front and the back. Then you're going to take this little short piece that is now on the top part of your butterfly holding your bead in place, you're gonna now bend that steel wire back so that it is right even with the bottom of your butterfly. And same thing, hold that bead in place and then squeeze the steel wire. Voila, look at that. So you have this really pretty butterfly with your bead in the center. And if you flip it over, this is what it looks like. So you have this piece here that you'll probably want to cut back just a little bit. Your steel wire. And then I try to tuck it just a little bit under that long one. At least so it's not popping out where someone's gonna poke themselves on it. And then you can straighten your wire out, you can bend it back. You can start playing with your, your butterfly wings because obviously they're, they're still taking the shape of the can. But if you play with it a little bit, and actually, if you use something round, a pen or something, you can, um, sort of like you would with curling ribbon, with your finger in the back supporting that pen, you can curl it, and then you don't end up with bend marks, like if you're trying to bend it. See how pretty that curls? So you can shape your butterfly however you'd like it. And then you can stick it in your plant. Now the butterflies that I do have a lot of embossing and some of them are colored. I'm gonna, I've decided that I'm gonna save that for another tutorial. We'll do one on embossing and 
um, coloring your cans. So for now, find some really cool cans that have some great colors or some great words across them and have some fun with those.